Uh, hi there. Welcome back to Alan Wake. Uh, last time we finished chapter three uh, after a rather anticlimactic, well, not anticlimactic, but after going on for so long, uh, the ending just kind of snuck up on us. Uh, so now, you know, because of how these things work, I think I can just start off from uh, episode four, the truth, as it were. And thankfully, we'll see the recap and stuff, so that's pretty good. Because normally, you know, it goes right into the next episode once you finish with with one. So, yeah, yeah, we can always write the checkpoint. Now in wake. Yep. I'm haunted by the law. That we were. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? I mean, maybe. Supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was. I mean, it's been pretty spooky for a while now, but. But that was a lie. We don't have. Wait, where is our wife? Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. And then we fell in the lake, and that was interesting. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Oh, it's Alice. Alice. Heart oh, well, that's not. I fell. I that, that's not Alice. Said, Don't fight. I, you went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No. Oh. You lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Well, there's differences between them? It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let, let go. Go, go, go. Man, I didn't know partner was such a good shapeshifter. <sighs> He was my wife all along. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Dude, that's so weird because I... only empty oh. sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. Oh yeah, where are my pages? Do I still have my... Okay, good. We, we, we still have our manuscript pages. So how many pages we got in this uh, chapter? Eh, not too many. And only one that's, you know, exclusive, exclusive to Nightmare Mode, so... That's cool. But, yeah, I kind of find that hard to believe that we're just... We, we've been insane this whole time, because... I mean, we have some pretty vivid fucking hallucinations. Uh, for some, if, if that's what they are, you know. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? I'm kind of yeah, out of it. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. Pet gorilla. The message. Who's that guy? Clear. Quite right. That's the spirit. You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of. Are you doing like the fucking gotcha? You know, got him thing that people do. Like, it looks like he's making that gesture with his like left hand. What's that? Or is he like, eh, uh, you know? Why don't you come with me? Hmm. We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. But like that, mmm, that's a spicy meatball, you know? Yes, it will do you good. Okay, I guess we'll just follow Dr. Hartman along. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. Okay. Can we, can, I, can we look around a bit? Do you not mind? Death Rally? That's my favorite game. Whoa, I didn't know they made Night Springs into a book. Okay, clearly whoever... Hey, Night Springs is a video game! And it's made by Remedy? Holy shit! I need to get my hands on that. And, uh... I forget what you, uh, that is. Some kind of puzzle game or something. It looks vaguely familiar, but not sure exactly. Hmm. Okay. I guess we're not going here. Crater's Telema, the engaging new book by Emil Harkman, PhD, the author of the best-selling Creative Flow, his groundbreaking techniques, engagement therapy, and the flow explained in his own words. Hmm. Well, Emerson... I know him. I encourage creativity as a 
part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. Who the fuck are you? I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. <laughs> Who this are way, you? Alan? I've, ne I've never seen you before in my life. But also, can I, can I look around a bit more? Oh, hey, Lane. That's what he's got up, got going on. Uh, you got some. You got paint. Uh, easels. I guess you're a painter. Maybe you know all of green. Anderson. Hmm. Oh, he locked the door behind us. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You know, this, this is a nice little painting. wonder who made that. Now, well, all right, Doctor. Last experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So You're still doing that thing I'm with your hand. But, stop doing that thing with your hand. Is dead. No. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. I mean, we did see her. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Hmm. What about those people who died, though? Like Carl Stuckey and uh, Rusty and, uh, uh, you know, all those loggers I killed. Like, uh, uh, what about them? Are, are, can you can you give me a phone call? Can I can I talk to Stucky if he's if he's still if he's alive? You know I can just I can, we can just call him, can't we? You know. Hey, Doctor Harmon's office. Oh. Also, what happened to Benny? If I just imagined everything, um, is he did he is he not real? Is he, did he not say that he kidnapped my wife? Are, are you saying Benny was 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 fake? What, what, what happened to Benny? Can you can you explain that to me, Doc? You know, can I can I go in here, Doc? I guess not, Doc. Okay, I will admit this is a nice, charming arrangement of uh, pottery. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for right. the shot. So I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, hmm. it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? I mean, I guess. You're skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. But how do you know I'm a skeptic, pal? Also, again, can you can can you get Carl Stucky on the phone with me? You know, just to confirm that I'm clearly hallucinating. If you're saying no one's killed, been killed. I mean, I'm sure you can you probably you can get Rusty over here, right? We, I, I, I want to see Rusty. And, and Ben! What the fuck? What, what about him? You can't all just be delusions of my paranoid uh, psyche. I mean, are you real, Dr. Hartman? Either way, though, this is a nice place you got here. I'm not going to deny that. I, even I, in my paranoid delusion of states, can rip, can notice a fucking nice cabin you got here, pal. Look at. What if I, what if I go up here? Can I go? What are you going to do if I go up here? Oh, it's locked. Ah, uh, you're cunning, Doc. You're very, very cunning. What if I go here, though? <laughs> Didn't he... 
That one didn't give, give me an unlocking sound. It just didn't work. I'll be fine. Let's keep up. Keep up the walking, I suppose. In Tenabras Kaderi. Oh, wait. Okay, let me see. Beyond the shuttle you settled for, there's a miracle illuminated. T-Z. In the memory of a dear friend and a poet. Uh, that's, that's pretty cool, I guess. Also, I'm pretty sure T-Z stands for, for Tom Zane. Timmy Zane, if you will. His friends call him Tim, you know. Or no, Death Bill. It'll be Tom. Tim is a different name. Ah, I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? It is a pretty, it is a pretty nice, was. pretty nice view. I could see Mirror Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Yeah, we did see that in the first episode. Uh oh. It seems there's a storm coming. Look, like there's a storm coming. I recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Very well, Doctor. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Oh, like the video game. Now the relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. Well, yeah. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the I illness. let him talk. Oh. Hartman mm -hmm. obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, I dug my nails do into the palms myself. of my hands. I can't hear both, hear both of you fuckers. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Man, it all sounds cool, but hello. like... Let's go inside. Like, what's really going on here, you know? Oh, hello, guy. Here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, huh. man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. What did you, did you hunt a puma? Wonderful, yeah. Jeez. I see some antlers. Scary, scary, did you have a taxidermy? Yeah, who are you people? Oh. Oh. Okay, maybe it's okay, maybe real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. <sighs> okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No. What? That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. It's trash, of course. But you shouldn't call his interest trash in front of him. Small, creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Okay, well, he does seem kind of a little, like he's got some issues, so... You might be onto something with him, pal. But, but me? I'm fucking... I'm, I'm, I'm the sanest guy here. Also, I got a coffee thermos. Uh, I'm sure it's perfectly normal to be obsessed with coffee thermoses and manuscript pages. I want to explore. I want to look, oh yeah, QR code. I wonder what that gets me. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. Hmm. Oh, thermos. Again, I'm, I'm, I assure you, I'm completely sane, Doctor. I just, whenever I see a coffee thermos, I have a pathological need to go after it. Surely you understand, Doctor. Yeah. I guess, okay, locked. Don't worry, I'm coming down. 
Doc. You don't gotta worry about me. Wait, or, okay, there we go. Also, you said it was at the office wing, but it clearly says patient room, so, uh, which is it, pal? Hello. Ooh. What about you, sir? Oh, hello. I've painted you. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. I mean, they're not bad, but it doesn't really look like me. Uh, I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. Yeah, I'd say so, pal. Don't worry, Doctor. I'm a, I'm a coming. Although... Oh, I can read this. Oh, I just I I read that without that without zooming in on it before. Right, 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 right. Okay, what about you? Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Oh, hey, welcome to Cauldron Lock Cauldron Lock Lake. Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help that you need. However, please uh, observe the following. Uh, please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your, ther your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their uh, uh, curator processes. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's, that's fair, I guess. Be patient. Huh. Uh, sir, I, I'm pretty sure I already am a patient. You know, so I'm pretty good about that. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time that you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment, treatment that has been uh, specifically tailored for you. Engaging in therapy, TM, and its sister method, the flow, TM, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. Fair enough, I guess. I can't really complain. My rheumatism oh. is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, oh the plane. Dear what help. a storm. Man, Night Spring must oh, be really popular. Wipes this place off the face of the earth. Oh. And these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. I see. They adopted new well, they got the old thing down. ...to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They I are, see. Well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its... You're still doing that fucking thing with your hand. It, 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 it bugs me. No, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Also, man... You got that weird. Why do you have a bandaid on your nose? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. No, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Pretty, yeah. sure that's, pretty sure that's just dementia. Crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. Are you sure? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. He broke my shoulder. He's only broke. He's got to go to the barn. The end, 
condition for Valhalla. Um, Alan Wake, you know. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Well, oh. all right. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Really? Tom, got any booze on you? I don't know if I should trust them, to be yeah, honest. Uh... No. <laughs> we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Ah, oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. I thought they were, I thought they were pretty cool. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. I'm not fucking Thomas Lane. Taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens. What was. What were they? <laughs> Memory and thought. The hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're hmm. better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. I'd be shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, huh. that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. She's been using you, boy, and you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? I don't remember opening any doors. Oh, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, fuck. Hmm. Aren't you? So oh. tired. Let me, let me cut you off there, pal. Wait, I want to see, what's, what's the page? Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him, but there was fear too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. Hmm. That's curious. Curious indeed. Built the farm close to the lake, a place of power. We had parties there, man. You, you should go there and have a party. Hmm. That Bob oh. Alder threw the amp through the window, hit that a hippie chick in the back of the head. Oh, I guess that was another member of the band. The concussion. Bob's dead now. Leukemia. Oh, that sucks. Stitches, snitches, and narcs, man. Bad scene. Right. Well, you guys have. Tired, man. You guys have fun, I guess. They return to our room. Man, I wish I could live in a cool lodge and just focus on creative pursuits. That'd be sick. Uh, yeah, good thing he's not overreacting oh. or anything. Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you know who jumpy. You know how they go. Oh, Birch is his name. Okay, well, I was wondering who the fuck that guy was supposed to be. To be honest. Funny, but it wasn't supposed to be about mullets, and now it's about mullets. And 
when it's in slow motion, they call it mullet time because the numbers came back from marketing that mullet time is the hook we needed to go big in the target demographic. And they're not even kidding. They say it all like serial killers with straight faces and smiles. My nightmare is the hmm. writers who want to make everything from the characters to the toaster talk, talk, talk all the time and express their feelings so they won't shut up. And the writers won't shut up either because they have feelings too. And I have to listen to them because they're not scared of me. And everyone should just shut up, shut up, shut up. But I don't see nightmares anymore because I'm too scary for them. I take two pills hmm. every morning and one with every meal and four when I go to bed. And that makes I guess a few too many pills, I think. Scariest nightmare of all. That seemed a bit self-aware. Uh... Jeez, I hope a storm isn't going to be too too scary. Hey, wake. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. The doors were locked. Uh. Hartman and the nurses would have keys, but there was no way to get my hands on them. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Oh, hello. Wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think. There's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. Oh, God. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. That sounds kind of... I think I've made a kind of spooky. mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me. Using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Why does it want a story so bad anyway? Does the darkness just really love my writing? I mean, damn, they could just ask. Now they come with all this fucking wife bullshit. Why does fucking Hartman want me to write stories? The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Well, that, that seems like it's gonna be a problem. Maybe I should tell one of the nurses about it. Hartman wanted me oh. to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Hey guys, um, the, the generator's not on, and you know, there's this big storm coming, so I figured you might want to turn it on, you know, make sure it, so there's no spooky darkness, and you know. You know, you know what happens when the spooky darkness comes, right guys? I mean, just, just thought I should let you know, a little <laughs> FYI from your... From your, from your writer friend, Alan, Alan Wake. <sighs> I'll be off in my room. Ah, there's no shit's gonna go down when I go get in my room. So I guess it's Emerson and his video games. Desolé. Or the soul, if you prefer. Ah well. I guess they're 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 still out and about. Let's get back in our room though. See what happens. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Just write something small, Alan. You know. Jeez. Hey, wake. You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? That's me. I'm cool as fuck. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Jesus. I just hope they didn't just commit murder. Uh, but anyway, uh, 
I think that checkpoint is as good a time as any to leave things off for now. Uh, thankfully, after a lot of uh, taken uh, silliness, a nice chill episode was kind of warranted, I feel like. So, yeah, we'll leave things off for right now. Uh, I, find, I feel like Hartman is not being 100% honest with us, even though what he's saying makes sense logically, you know. It doesn't quite add up if you really stop and think about it. Like I said... <laughs> I've killed, like, literally hundreds of people, and, uh, I feel like, you know, the, the families would be, like, wondering where they went. It, you know, stuff like that, right? But uh, I guess we'll, just, we'll, we'll discover what happens from here, and ex uh, we can assume that some, 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 some darkness bullshit is going to be taking, taking, taking place soon, so we'll, uh, we'll deal with that when we get to it. But for now, though, uh, I'll see you around.